Hello, everyone. Well, it's been a while since DayZ.61 came out, and since I released my, really, my latest DayZ video, which was a while back now, so I think it's time that I created a new FPS guide for Point Six Two on DayZ. Now, Point Six Two has changed a lot of things since Point Six One, like graphical settings and stuff has a, like increased performance and decreased performance for all users in this game. Um, so I'm going to walk through everything and just, you know, how to get the best FPS in this game. So, what you want to do is you want to go to your configure tab, your video tab, and look in the quality section. So, this is where most of your CPU powered stuff is going to be. Now, I have a i5-3570K overclock, so I leave my objects, ob objects at high. Now, this is going to, at high, there is going to be a bit of a decreased performance, um, but I don't really notice anything above high, very high really. It just increases like plants and stuff, but if you want good performance and good quality, I tend to either leave it on normal if you have an okay CPU, but if you have a decent CPU, I leave it on high. Terrain, terrain just improve, um, improves the texture of, um, you know, grass and terrain pretty much, like objects on the ground. See, if you look onto my bottom left where the stones are, you can see that it decreases and does a lot of stuff to it. Really, I don't really see a, dip, um, I see a bit of an increase in performance with very low and low. But, um, not really visually, so if you're looking for competitive settings, I just leave it on low. But if you're looking for, you know, good quality, but, you know, decent FPS, I leave it on normal. Clouds, I leave it on disable. Um, if you've got a good GPU, um, you can leave that on low. Um, all this is going to do is use more GPU power. But I don't really see a difference in the FPS, so I just leave one on disabled. Shadows, um, if you've got a good CPU and a good um, graphics card and you want good quality, put it on low or normal. But I see a bit of FPS um, loss in this, like if you want disabled. Um, resolution, um, keep this on your native resolution for your monitor. I have a 1920 by 1200 monitor, so I leave it on my native resolution. Video memory, um, now, this is getting into more GPU based stuff, um, I have a GTX 1060 at 3 gigs, um, in this game at the moment you can't, um, specifically assign any more than 2 gigabytes to this game for quality and texture, so I just leave mine on auto, um, really, for texture and texture filtering, you know, I just leave it at high and high. Um, I don't really see a difference in FPS performance when I put it on very high, but I just leave it on high because there's no difference. Um, Anti-aliasing. Um, this is a decent one. If you've got a good GPU, like, I mean, a GPU that's, you know, maybe a 970, 960 or higher, then put anti-aliasing either on low or normal. This is just going to make the game look a lot neater and sharper than before, so it's going to smooth out all those edges. Alpha to coverage, if you're looking for good PvP and you want to see people running in the grass and just looks the game looks neater and put this in all trees plus grass. Edge moving, um, this is just going to smooth out the edges. Um, for me, when I put this on SMA low or any, any SMAA, I see a decrease in performance, so I just leave it on FXAA very high. HDR quality, leave this on very low. Post process quality, um, if you've got a, see how it just does stuff to the sky and the lighting pretty much. If you've got an okay CPU, GPU, put this on low. Um, if you've got a, you know, moderate CPU, GPU, put it on very low. It's, you're going to see a bit of a day performance increase. Ambient inclusion, um, it just makes the objects collide with shadows a bit neater and it just it just makes the game look a bit nice. So if you want it on, put it on low. 
enable, I mean. Um, but really, I see a bigger, about 10 FPS boost, so I just leave on disable this. It's a moderate FPS hit. So after you do that, apply, and you're done with the game settings, and now we'll move on to the uh, settings in the document settings. Okay, so we're back onto our desktop now, and now we're going to be looking into our Daisy document settings. So, to access these, you want to go to your documents, go to where it should say Daisy, and where it has your Luke.Daisy profile, click on Edit. And you want to scroll all the way down. Alright, so obviously here, um, this is where you can max around with the settings in game, um, I mean, in the document settings, so head bob, um, if you're looking for competitive settings and you don't want that bobbing when you're moving, put this on zero, um, scene complexity, um, 250,000 is by default normal, um, all steam complexity is, is object settings, so do not change this. So if you already set it at that, um, high, leave it at 500. If you set it at um, normal, you know, 200. Shadows is it distance. Um, if you're gonna, you know, you can put us at 100. I just leave it at 250. View distance. Um, put us on 1,500. Um, and preferred object view distance even on 1,300. Um, and that's about it. Um, shadow quality, make sure that's a zero. Shading quality, make sure that's a seven. After that, um, control S and save. And go properties and make sure it's set to read only. Next, you want to go into your Daisy CFG and go edit. And this is where more rendering options come in. So, for example, if you have a native resolution for your monitor at 1920 by 1080, you're going to want to set the render dub, render underscore w equals 920 and render underscore h equals 1080. And then resolution underscore width equals 1220. Make sure resolution underscore h equals 1080. Now, what the W means is width, and what your H means is height. So, you know, if you have a 1080 monitor, the height of it's going to be 1080, and if you have the width, it's going to be 1200. Alright, now, another thing, this just thing boosts my frames. Um, under where it says PPAA equals 4, um, you want to put in these two command lines. All this is just going to make sure the max frames ahead for the GPU is 1 and the detective frames ahead is 1 and that's it. All this did was boost my frames. After that file, save and then you want to go to set and make sure that's read only. After that, you're done and you're going to have a great increase in DayZ. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you see an increase in DayZ and I hope I see you in the next one. Alright, see ya. Peace.